Hey everybody, I'm Patrick, Account Manager for Raiders and Providers at Ecotrope. In this intro video, we'll cover project creation, modeling, and submission. Let's get started. This is the My Projects page. You can filter by things like community, project status, and other factors. Let's say you wanted to build a house in Maryland, and you wanted to use your own building company. You can enter in that information, and it will quickly sort your whole project library to provide that information. Here it comes. There you go. And then you go over to the right and you open the project. This brings you to the project dashboard. There are four quadrants, the project info, the project notes, component library, and building designs. If you go to the project info tab, you can enter in useful information such as weather station for accurate weather data, location of the project, community, and builder. This will help sort the My Projects page. You can also select a target Energy Star version and select which version of Ecotrope you want to use. We are both forwards and backwards compatible across versions. If you go to the Utility Rates tab, you can select an entry from your utility library. This allows for accurate energy bill information. You can customize them based on tiers of usage and seasonality. Accurate energy usage data is necessary for many programs. The Project Notes section is very helpful. You can leave useful notes for yourself your provider, or your QAD. The bottom right is your component library. We'll come back to that. The bottom left is your building designs. You can select between different building designs using the blue ribbon. Let's say your builder decides to go with the sunroom model. That's how you would select it. This is the building design. We have a tabular layout, and on the right is the quick results section. We will always show a HERS score and an annual energy bill. Down below are your quality assurance checks. You can customize this section by going to the Change Codes button. We have state codes, Energy Star versions, national programs, and Energy Code compliance. Let's say you wanted to go for Energy Star version 3.1. You could click this drop down and see that you aren't meeting the ERI target score, haven't entered in the duct leakage, completed the checklists, or entered in the mechanical ventilation system. If you go to the Envelope tab, you can build your thermal envelope. You can do this with slabs and framed floors foundation, above grade walls, rim joists, and ceilings. Each section can have multiple entries to represent multiple different types of component. If you click this drop down, you can select which component you're interested in. You can search these by typing. Once you select them, you can also edit them. This will open the assembly builder. You can build your wall from the inside drywall to the stud cavity layer with stud spacing, plywood OSB sheathing, house wrap, continuous insulation, and siding. This creates an R-value of R22 across the entire assembly. Next, if you go to the Mechanical tab, you can enter in your mechanical systems for your 100% of cooling, heating, and hot water load served. If you're ever unsure of how to model something, you can click on the Help button and it will open up our help documents. These are extensive and hold the solutions to many common energy modeling problems. If you don't find the information you need, you can open up a new help window and search for further documentation. If you still have questions, you can send us a support ticket. We will often respond to support tickets within three hours. Let's talk about pulling reports. You can pull projected reports or confirmed reports once you've submitted to ResNet. Let's say you wanted to pull a HERS certificate, an Energy Star certificate, a code compliance document, and your building summary. You can select those reports from this drop down and go ahead and click OK. As it pulls up your reports, you'll be able to sign, email, and download them straight from inside Ecotrope. This allows for convenient workflow. We are constantly improving our reports and adding new codes and programs, so please let us know if there are certain codes or programs you would like supported in Ecotrope. Let's discuss submitting projects. If you go out to the project dashboard, you can go to the Submit Project drop-down. You can share with your provider, submit for QA, or submit to a specific utility program. These all have different impacts, but when you do this, we will run automated quality assurance checks calling out what's still missing and what's been done correctly. This will save both the rater and the program administrator time. If you back out to the My Projects page, you can select multiple projects and perform batch actions. You can do things such as generating sample sets, modifying projects, batch registration, and batch deletion. These help 
for large project sets. Thanks for watching. You can always check out our YouTube for more tutorials and webinars. Have a great day.